we've arrived at the moment you've all been waiting for. But if you blink, you might miss it. This bike is the undisputed king of the road, combining advanced aerodynamics with groundbreaking technology. Our number one wonder of motorcycles is the Suzuki Hayabusa, a wonder of speed. has an engine that can get you to almost 200 miles an hour out of the showroom. It has a range and an ability to go around corners that's unparalleled. It is, in one single motorcycle, I suppose the epitome of high-tech motorcycle engineering. It had almost a hawk-like uh, appearance. In fact, Hayabusa in Japanese means falcon. There's a certain type of falcon that's real fast. So, good-looking and fast. Instant hit. Almost 500 pounds of highly aerodynamic plastic, aluminum, and steel, the Hayabusa can pierce through the air like a speeding bullet. A 1300 cc four stroke liquid cooled engine easily propels this machine to almost 200 miles an hour and from 0 to 60 in 2.4 seconds. It's the fastest stock motorcycle on earth. The faster a motorcycle goes, the more stable it actually is. Uh, the wheels are, are like big gyroscopes, and so the motorcycle wants to stay up. It does not want to fall over. Um, it's sort of counterintuitive laws of physics, but uh, a motorcycle is very stable at speed, especially the Hayabusa. In 1998, when Suzuki set out to design the definitive sports bike, engineers faced a far greater challenge than simply adding more horsepower. It's very easy to build an engine with a lot of horsepower, uh, but to achieve the speeds that they were trying to get, uh, it really took a lot more. And it really took them uh, a lot of time in the wind tunnel in trying to create a bike that was very aerodynamic and with a low coefficient of drag. To minimize wind resistance, Suzuki designed a special fairing shape that starts at a single protruding point at the headlight and sweeps back and out like the cockpit of a fighter jet. The fairing is that bodywork which makes it cut through the air more cleanly, as opposed to, you know, if my chest is hitting the air, that's not very aerodynamic. Equally as important as design, the positioning of the rider's body helps maximize speed. The motorcycle, unlike some machinery, is actually more aerodynamic with a rider on it, so it even accentuates the importance of a rider making himself aerodynamic on these motorcycles. At the Willow Springs Racetrack in Southern California, Suzuki racer Rad Greed shows us how he rides the Hayabusa. The rider basically fills in that void from the windshield to the back seat. So the better you can mold yourself and transition all that gap area, smooth it out with your helmet on the front area of the windshield to your buttocks area to the back tail section, the more smoother and cleaner the air travels across your body. When the rider sits on it and crouches over into that aerodynamic fast position, it's as if the, the rider and the bike become as one. You may be wondering how in the world you stay on something going this fast. Reeves says it's thanks to the perfect synergy of body and design. Well, the faster you get going, the more your thighs squeeze into the bike. And that's why the gas tank is shaped like it is as well, to hold you on. So it's mostly done with the legs and the thighs. And uh, that's the unique thing about this motorcycle, is the contour of the inside of it. When rocketing at speeds close to 200 miles an hour, each turn can be your last. Cornering on the Hayabusa without crashing is all about timing and balance. Watch how Greaves leans the bike sharply into each turn, scraping the ground with his knee. The knee is actually your only way of feeling you becoming one with the motorcycle. It is just you and this motorcycle and you're all one. It's almost like this motorcycle needs you. It has to have you in that knee on the ground in order to capture its full potential in cornering. For Greaves, the Hayabusa is the world's most exhilarating ride. When you get going super fast, it's like a whole nother level. The minute you get on that motorcycle and do your first couple laps, your adrenaline is just up for the whole rest of the day. And uh, it's almost a state of euphoria when you're going down a super fast straightaway. The public had a similar reaction in 1999 when the Hayabusa was unleashed. 
It looked like it belonged on the racetrack, but for just $10,000, anyone could experience this street-going missile. The Hayabusa has been a big hit since its introduction. It's, everybody seems to like it. It's been very well accepted in the marketplace, and we see a really good future for it as well. With our constant craving to go faster and farther, is the Hayabusa just the beginning, or has it hit its speed limit? The Hayabusa is an absolutely wonderful machine. It's a technological marvel, and it goes absurdly fast. There is no need for a motorcycle on a public ride, on a public road to go that fast. Do we need a 300 mile an hour street bike? No. Um, pretty much, I think we've seen the end of the speed wars. In this speed war, the Hayabusa has yet to be overtaken by another motorcycle. Our number one wonder of motorcycles remains in a class by itself. Well, that ends our countdown of the seven most amazing motorcycles of all time. At least until the next two-wheel wonder roars past, pointing the way to the future. You're always looking for the next thrill. If you ride sport bikes, then when the next greatest sport bike comes out, maybe you want to trade up to that. Dirt bikes, it's the same way. You, you buy a dirt bike and then the next year, maybe something comes out with better suspension, a bigger engine, and you want to sample that as well. It's a constant look for the next big thrill.